Good morning, everyone from Jersey. Hello from Chechi. Uh, where are we? I don't see the live feed. This always happens when we start. Good morning, nerds. We are live. Um, can somebody write something in the chat just so I know if it's working or not? Because it's not going. The last one I have is Iowa. It's kind of stuck. Um, okay, I'm in Michigan. Hello from Omaha. All right, now we're live. It always takes a hot second, and I feel like it freezes. Um, but welcome, welcome to Pillow Talk Derm on a Tuesday. Um, I don't know why the team does this to me and decides to launch products on a Tuesday when they know that I have an aversion to this day and it makes me nervous. And then not seeing the chat move also makes me nervous because I keep thinking we're frozen. Is Carla Crows from Alaska the last person who said something on the chat? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, maybe it's a slow morning. That's why I don't like Tuesdays. Everybody is depressed about life because you have nothing to look forward to tonight and the weekend is far away. But today we just launched our newest little baby. Um, hello from France. Good evening from Australia. Good morning. Um, the one and only soft wash. She is our um, party girl savior because all of you who forget to wash your face and you go to sleep and you have track marks on your pillow sheets, this is your jam. This is your girl. This is going to be your daily cleanser. I'm obsessed with the color. It's funny when we were making the brand originally, like a few years ago, everyone was like, you're pink, you're pink, you're pink. And I didn't want to be pigeonholed into a pink situation as a woman, as a girl, blah, blah, blah. So I really pushed against the pink. But when the wash came to life, I was like, she has to be pink. And for that, I'm very excited. Um, but this is our newest, latest and greatest, and your newest main squeeze, our soft wash. Um, Kara Slater was a product tester, and she says it is fantastic. Thank you, Kara. Go to the website, leave a review if you've already used it. Do not leave a review if you've never used it. Um, but please leave us reviews. It is helpful. You guys had a first chance to try it. Um, I wanted the packaging to be fun. Listen, as a doctor brand, it's enough that people are very sterile. And I was like, obviously, we are sterile and we take ourselves seriously in office and behind the scenes. But I wanted it to be beautiful and that you enjoy looking at when it's on your vanity. You enjoy looking at and using when you're actually opening the packaging. So that is why you see them in colors that I really love to live in. Um, so the packaging is beautiful. Uh, Salam from San Diego. Thank you guys so much. So do you guys want to get into the cleanser to understand um, how I know why? So yeah, so anyway, well, the brand is now Dr. Idris. Major fate is still aligned underneath the brand. So this officially launched today. Let's get into this cleanser and why I created it first. So those of you guys who don't know, I have been blind probably since before I was nine years old, but I just didn't know it. And I just was squinting my whole way through until I was nine when my teacher was like, why are you not seeing the board? And that is when I had my first pair of eyeglasses. Last year, I was at negative 8.75, which is almost legally blind. I think it is legally blind by some definitions, um, but I could hardly see if I didn't have my contact lenses on. And it was the biggest, my biggest fear has always been my eyes and I have sensitive eyes. And so traditionally, I always use a micellar water and the Vana cream. But if I'm being honest, and you guys have probably seen me comment about this in many of my videos, it burns my eyes a little bit. I never feel like I get it off well enough. And it was something that I've always struggling with. And the worst part is when I would put my eyeglasses back on and I would squint through my eyeglasses because my prescription was also old, <laughs> um, I would notice raccoon eyes underneath my eyes. Or worse, I would wake up in the morning and look at my pillowcase and I would see streaks of residual mascara or I wear eyeliner pretty much every day and that like just drove me nuts because I ruined a bunch of bed sheets and I just felt like I'm not doing a service to my face or my eyes. So I wanted to create a cleanser that you can open your eyes while you wash your face so it's non-irritating to your eyes but also a cleanser that hydrates your skin and is gentle enough for people with sensitive skin. So this is your daily go-to cleanser. 
okay? Um, it is your one and only. It is the one that I've been using literally since probably now a year every night. And when I've been doing videos for you guys, I've been like swapping it with other cleansers to show you guys other stuff because I couldn't announce it. But I've been using this one and you've probably seen many tubes of them in the background in my bathroom in certain YouTubes or not, but I've been using it for like a year now. And it has been a game changer because when I travel, I no longer pack a micellar water and a cleanser. And when I don't travel, I use this. This is not great for a carry-on because it's 5.2 ounces, but we are going to have minis, <laughs> samples. So very, can I have a sample, Tiff? I'll show them. Um, that I take when I travel, and it has been a real game changer for me. Um, so cute. She had a baby. <laughs> she had a little baby, and this is a game changer. I will show you guys the texture. I will not wash my face right now because I have patient care, um, literally right after this, but it opens just like this, so it's an easy flip top. The baby is the same exact thing, just mini. And I'll show you guys the texture. Oh, she is just divine, divine, divine. It is a non-foaming cleanser, so don't expect it to lather. And she's extremely soft and smooth. And the way I use it as I apply a nice dime size amount to my hand. Can I get Kleenex, please? I got Kleenex right here. And then I warm it up with a little bit of water in my hand and I go on my face dry and I massage it into my face completely dry. I take a washcloth, I wet the washcloth and after I've massaged it into my face, I use that to get everything off and then I splash and it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, the biggest thing in it is called Piloximer. All right. That's also found in contact lens solutions. Um, and it also has a surfactant that is non-stripping that marries oil to water. So that's why it makes it a good one to remove the makeup. Um, and it's glycerin loaded. So it's obviously hydrating. There is no fragrance. It is cruelty free fragrance free the ph of the cleanser i don't know if you guys care about this but i'm going to share it with you guys is 5 to 5.5 which is the ideal range for a cleanser because you want to be slightly acidic so that you maintain your skin barrier intact so it's not going to cause you to break out it's not going to breed bacteria on your skin it's not going to dry you out and it's not going to cause you to get oilier um so that is ideal and um it's been clinically tested. So we did a clinical study in which they used a Vizia scanner with people with either sunscreen or makeup, and they had them wash their face and took pictures of their faces right after. And it was shown to remove it all, which is amazing because when people say, I feel like it removed my sunscreen, I'm always like, how do you know? <laughs> like, okay, I like that you feel that, but how do you know if you don't really see your sunscreen? So I never understood that. So I had to go being my annoying self, I had to go that extra mile and be like, can we do a clinical study where they actually prove this with a scan and a picture? So the pictures that you guys see um, is exactly what we had from the clinical studies. I wanted to show people that you really do remove everything and not just feel like you've cleaned your face, which is great. I'm glad that you feel like it took it off, but I wanted to really prove it. And so the clinical studies did just that. But then Consumer perception was also very positive. They felt like their face was cleaner. They felt like their skin was more hydrated. They felt like their skin overall looked better after using it for a week because it wasn't breaking out. Their barrier function was intact. So all in all, it all was a beautiful, um, symbiotic, synchronous, whatever the word is, uh, mutually beneficial little clinical study that we did. Um, the eye mask, <laughs> do you guys like the eye mask? She was a one night stand for the video that we did. But if you guys like it, we can talk to Ariel. Ariel, should we have a limited edition eye mask that we're selling? Are you recording this? Tiffany's behind the scenes recording me. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this, let us know. Email April, hello at dridris.com if you guys want the eye masks and maybe we'll bring it to a website near you. Um, is it, effect is it less effective when applied to damp skin or in the shower? I found that it is most effective when it is applied to dry skin. I think um, when you allow it to warm up with a little bit of water in the palm of your hand and you apply it to dry skin, you allow it to really work its way, breaking up the oils on your face. If you flood your face 
for the water, it's not going to be working as effectively because it's going to be holding on to that water and you want it to hold on to the oil as well on your face. Um, but I don't like oil cleansers for myself. There is value in them for other people in this world. But personally, I just, I have not been a huge, I have not yet found um, an oil cleanser of my dreams. So yeah. Is it good for oily skin? It is tested for all skin types. So it is good for oily skin, sensitive skin. I don't know why people say normal skin, um, combination dry. It is good for all skin types, especially if you have sensitive skin, do not be scared to try it. Um, if you are oily, I think you have to ask yourself, are you oily in a dry environment or are you oily in a humid environment? Because your environment plays a huge factor in your oiliness. And if the answer is humid, you can use it twice a day in the morning. If you're oily in a dry environment, I would say try to see if you can get away with doing it once a day, because I want to see if you can then acclimate your skin and balance your oil production. But if you can't and you're acne prone, then obviously you can use it in the morning um, as well. Um, do you need to double cleanse? So that is a very good question. Um, this today is a little bit more than I usually wear makeup wise. I don't usually have like this smoky eye situation. I was testing it out on myself this morning. Um, but if you wear everyday makeup, light makeup with light coverage, you don't need to double cleanse. It has been shown clinically studied to take it off in one go, especially when you wash your face correctly. I'll show you how much face wash in a second, Selma. I'll show you in my hand. Um, if you are somebody who wears heavy coverage makeup, a lot of foundation, a lot of eyeshadows, like layers and layers of mascara. I love how some people say mascara, but mascara, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're going wrong and strong on your face. You probably do want a double cleanse. Can you use this cleanser twice to make it a double cleanse? Sure you can. And you're not going to overstrip your skin um, of its oils or break your barrier function. If you want to use another thing before it, like a micellar water or an oil cleanser prior to this, absolutely. But this would be the second step in your double cleanse. Um, you don't need, Kiara, you don't need micellar water before using the cleanser if you are doing light everyday makeup is my answer. If your makeup is very heavy and you use heavy coverage makeup, then you might want to use this twice, right? First and second cleanse or use a micellar water first or an oil cleanser first and then follow it up with this as the second step of your double cleanse. So I hope that is clear. Um, and I think it's obviously subjective how heavy one person's makeup is. But if you take me as your sort of benchmark, um, it's enough to use this in one go, especially when you apply it to dry skin. Grazie, oh, so sweet, she's Italian. Um, <laughs> but it's enough to use it in one go when you apply it to dry skin, have a wet washcloth nearby, and then use that to really go into the nooks and crannies of your face and then wash it with water. It is a jelly cleanser. I wanna take off my rings so we don't get them all over. But this is probably how much I use for my face. Um, she is a beautiful texture. Can you guys see? It's very, very pretty. It's very, very soft. Um, when we saw it in production at the lab, I just wanted to jump in and dive into it. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, and yeah, basically that's how much I use. I obviously spread it across my palm right now. Um, good for men who don't wear makeup, absolutely. Um, I've been trying to get my husband to finally wash his face, <laughs> you know, hopefully this will be the product that he uses from our line. Uh, but he's, it's been a struggle to get that man to wash his face. You know, I, I can't, I can't seem to convince him. Um, why didn't I want to put any soothing actives? Sometimes they can be irritating to the eyes and I wanted Zainab. So she's asking me as a cosmetic formulation nerd, why didn't I decide to put any other actives into this cleanser? It's very simple. I wanted to put active, I did not want to put actives like that into the cleanser because I was trying to create a beautiful, simple, everyday cleanser that works to remove everything off your face. I wasn't trying to treat if you have redness. I wasn't trying to treat if you have discoloration. I wasn't trying to treat if you have acne. Because a lot of times when you have those actives, like a little bit of benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid, even centella, some people might be a sensitive person, might be sensitive to centella. I wanted to minimize that risk so I can give you guys a cleanser that everybody can use every single day without having to think twice about it. Um, 
so that is why I didn't. But peloxomer is in it, and peloxomer is usually found in contact lens solution. And peloxomer is quite... I mean, it's a rather expensive ingredient compared to glycerin, for example. So you are getting something more than just surfactants mixed with water and the humectant, okay? Um, somebody asked another question. Uh, why am I not at Sephora? I'm still at Sephora. She's not at Sephora. You guys are going to exclusively find this on my website for the next month. And in a month, she will make her debut at Sephora. But right now, she is solely on our website. Why did I want to do that? I wanted to do that because I want to keep it high touch point with you guys. I have noticed over the past year and a half, two years-ish, that we are in direct communication and that is invaluable. And I wanted to make sure that I can communicate with you guys directly through my website, hear your feedback, hear your comments, hear your, like, I don't know, praises, I don't know, your, your compliments um, directly in real time. Once you go through Sephora, I, you guys get lost in that noise. And I want to make sure that I'm communicating you, with you guys directly upon launch. So it's first available on my website. So you guys can communicate directly with us. And we can see exactly what you're using when you bought it, how you're using it. Um, and then it will be available to Sephora. But not everybody at Sephora is a nerd, unfortunately, yet. They will be. They just don't know it. Um, <laughs> how can you use it for an after-workout skincare routine? Very easily, if you're working out and you're sweating a lot, you probably want to use some kind of cleanser to lightly wash your face. If you're not sweating a lot, you probably don't need a cleanser. You can just wash your face with water. But if you're someone who's acne prone and you sweat a lot, just you can use it in the shower the same way you would any other cleanser. You don't have to worry about applying it completely to dry skin at that point because you probably don't have makeup. And if you're wearing makeup at the gym, we have other issues. Nafi, my heart is your heart. That's a big ass packaging. I appreciate you because somebody wrote, why isn't it bigger on Instagram? And I'm like, uh, what? This is 5.2 ounces. You cannot put her in your carry-on. You can put the baby in your carry-on, but not this one. It's a pretty big size, I would say, in my books. And the person who was like comparing it to the CeraVe's of the world, I'm not owned by anyone. I'm not backed by millions of dollars. What you guys see is our brand that we've created from scratch and it's been self-funded from 10 years of hard work. So I'm not going to sit down and send you guys gallons of this because of that, but also because of the peloxomer, which makes it more expensive. It is not just a glycerin cleanser. It is peloxomer and glycerin and it's working to be non-irritating around your eyes. It is fragrance free. Um, and yeah. What did it say? I love you and your process in Mexico. Um, how much does it cost? Selma J is asking. Do we have takers? <laughs> Should we go? Going once, going twice, going three times. The price is not on here, which is interesting. I know, I know, I know. But I didn't put it on here for the PR thing. So does anybody know? I know how much it costs. Does anybody know how much it costs? Social media sucks. And the definition of beauty and stereotypes of what we idolize has just come to the surface more. That's why I wear makeup. Brianna? There is only one you in this world, and you do you however you want to do you. 30 bucks. Oh, yeah, they already know. No, not 38. Not 34. 30. 30. 30. 3. 0. Not 48. Okay. Um, it is $30. This is going to be in the um, PR packaging that we're sending out to people, and I want to show you guys what we're sending them. Are you guys ready for this? Um, are you going to hear this? We're sending them a massive cotton candy cake to celebrate the soft wash. Do you guys want to give away? Does anybody want our cotton candy cake of your dreams? Um, thank you. Congrats. I'm so excited. It's so well priced. $27. Ibis R is correct. If you are subscribed to Dr. Idris, you will get it for 10% off at $27. Um, it is $30. It is very reasonably priced. I'm not trying to outprice you guys by creating unreasonable products. That's never been my goal. Our products are expensive because they have a lot of actives and they have a lot of high quality ingredients. And obviously we do clinical studies to back everything up. They want a giveaway for the cotton candy cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do a little, we'll do a little giveaway for this. Why oh, not? Maybe. Why not? Send us pictures once they buy it. And then whoever wins will will send them the cake. We'll figure that out, Tiff. We gotta figure out that giveaway. Okay, um, but yeah. So that is why um, it is priced how it is priced. So it takes into account the studies, the actives, the size, etc. 
Barbie vibes. I know, seriously, we are in a Barbie world. Actually, we should have launched this last summer. It would have been perfect, but we didn't have it ready for last summer. Um, I am talking to you. I love when first talk at me for participating in the chat. I'm not talking at you. I'm talking with you. And I just don't want you to feel like you ever have to cover your face with makeup because of beauty standards that the world imposes on us. Um, cotton candy is a vibe. Uh, I need that on my shelf. Everybody needs, honestly, like I wake up and I smile when I see it. It's weird. <laughs> I do. I meant to me. Okay. Um, pimple and scars, what to apply. Love the PR packaging. Good morning. I need the baby. People want the sound. People want the minis. Everyone loves a mini. Um, Buy the girl. Maybe you'll get the baby. Oh, are we mm -hmm. giving them away? Um, we can be convinced if you guys really email us for like if you guys rally to email us we can get convinced to do things because they that's gotta, the beauty they gotta buy the, the baby girl first yeah no, the, big one. The, girl. the mama before they buy the baby um, when he news about Europe and international shipping so we have a news coming up okay about international shipping uh, I would say is it April 2nd probably towards the end of the month. You heard it here first. And then we have more news about international shipping. Buy the girl, get the baby. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> Tiffany. Um, probably towards the end of the year, okay? It's not so simple. There is something called customs and there is something called regulation. And apparently you gotta, you gotta oblige and comply because if you don't, you get slapped with a fee, which we don't need. Okay, so although I wish I could be shipping this off directly from like our office, we need, we got we got to comply. Apparently, it's something I didn't learn, um, or I'm learning the hard way. But yeah, so international soon. Uh, we're working on the you know we're working on the back end of things. Um, sending love from Vietnam, Nguyen. I was in Vietnam in 2013, and it is probably one of my favorite places ever. Obsessed. Um, truly obsessed. Nerd. I'm watching every single before of yours and taking notes. Oh. Um, also, they will seize your products and dump them. That has happened. That has happened. Definitely would be worth the wait. Um, the legalities. I know. Like the law. Do we really need law and order? I mean, come to New York. It's not happening over here. So why not just spread it all over the world? Um, love from Singapore. Uh, hopefully guys, we're, 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 my dream is the world. Okay. Outside of the U S is like the dream, but I'm currently stuck in the U S so <laughs> one day we'll break free. Um, how many weeks would it last if you use it twice a day? That's a good question. Tiff, how many weeks has yours? Cause we had, Oh, do you want to show them the original? Do we have the original? Okay. So I'm going to show you guys a pillow talk Durham original, which thank God when I saw it, I was like, "We can." the reason why it took so long is we cannot launch this. Ugly color for the bottle, but also the brand name cannot be that. So I'm going to show you guys the OG. How long would it last when you use the OG? So we actually don't have the this big size the for the one. team. Okay, the, or this new one is the only one that you guys the see. You guys team. will probably get it before the team does. I've been using the minis, if you've seen this on my vanity in YouTubes. And if you guys have noticed in a lot of my YouTubes, you probably saw this, which was not good. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. She looks like a feminine wash product. This is not it. This is not the vibe. Uh, not the vibe. No. No, no, no. Um, and so I was like, why do we call it complete double cleanser? It's not that. It's your complete daily cleanser. So we switched it. So we upgraded not only the brand name, but the whole package from this, oops, to this. So much better, right? It looks like this is terrible. This was terrible. But we were using this for a long time. And you guys probably noticed I had this on my sink in my bathroom. And we made how many of these? Like 500? We had like 500 of these. So the team was all using the old packaging. It looks so dated. Ugh, thank God. I live in high def. Okay. Do not wash me out because my skin is washed out enough. So yeah, this is the one. Um, this is the new one. It's 30 bucks. 
Oh goodness, RCS just joined the live. What is it for? <laughs> I use a sulfur wash for my rosacea. Can I use your cleanser first and then use the sulfur? I would do the opposite. So what a tune. Okay. If you're using a sulfur wash for rosacea, sebaceous filaments, etc., you probably want to A, make sure you're not overusing the sulfur wash like every single night, I'm assuming, or it might be overstripping for your skin. But B, if you are going to use it and you feel like you have residual makeup left behind, is that how you're using it? then I would use this second. And the reason I say use it second is because it will leave your skin slightly hydrated and not overly stripped. Um, but that doesn't make that much sense as I'm saying it out loud. If you're wearing makeup and you're using the sulfur wash at night to calm your skin, I would actually use this first and then use the sulfur wash and then wash your face. If you're not wearing makeup at all and you just wanna wash your face with the sulfur wash, I would then use this second to keep your skin hydrated because if you want to have your makeup removed, use this one first and then use the sulfur. But if you don't have makeup on, I would use the sulfur first to get the benefit of that on your skin followed by the soft wash. That was a very good question. But I, I wonder, can I ask you a question? I want the sulfur person to come back. Sulfur person, write something in the chat because are you using your sulfur wash? What a tune. Are you using your sulfur wash to wash your makeup off? And that is a question I have for you. Um, I'm gonna wait for you to answer. Move your little digits a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm actually curious. Um, sulfur is drying me out too much. Um, this is biodegradable, so do not worry about it. Um, Desyl glucoside is biodegradable. Mm -hmm. I'm using a sulfur wash at night. I don't wear makeup, only sunscreen. I would use sulfur first. I would use the sulfur first and then I would use this. Okay. Um, that's how I would do it. Uh, and I, somebody asked me about biodegradability, but desyl glucoside, which is in this, right, is biodegradable and much more environmentally friendly. I don't even bother about wearing makeup sunscreen for the win. Good for you. Dr. Idris, will your products be available at Sephora worldwide down the line? TBD. Um, let's see how well we do in the U.S., May the gods be on our side. We will figure out the rest of the world. Um, my sample size lasts a few weeks. Kira Slater, when I get that comment from the nerds who tested it out, I'm surprised. And I think I, I showed you guys how much I use, but I, this, is, this is the light makeup that I use every day, minus the eyeshadow, right? And so I use a nice dollop on my palm. I finish this in like... Less than a week. Oh, maximum a week. Um, but I'm obsessed. Like I look forward to washing my face. Will I still use the Bioderma before? If I have heavier makeup, like tonight with all the eyeshadow, I might use the Bioderma before. Um, hello from the Philippines. I'm so excited. Good luck. We're waiting for your products. Um, do you recommend retinol for those living in the Middle East? Absolutely, I do. I mean, retinol can be used by anybody living everywhere and anywhere in the world. Um, the only question is how strong is your sun? And A, making sure you're not spending a lot of time directly under the sun if you are using retinol because you don't want to get more sun sensitized, right? But also, are you wearing sunscreen? Um, and I know a lot of people in the Middle East, for example, like my husband grew up a little bit in Kuwait. They're never outside, so they don't wear sunscreen because they don't think they need it. But hello, windows. Hello, outside light. Um, and you're still getting UV through the window glass, so you still need sunscreen. Um, all right. Uh, can you do a video how to remove makeup when working out? When working out right after work and still have to go home and shower. Fabiola Salazar, you are a fanatic about working out. I'm into you. <laughs> okay. It's a girl. She's like, I need to know about the working out. So you work out at the end of the day after work. All right. If that is the case, just take, for example, Bioderma, micellar water, remove your makeup with micellar water, go work out knock yourself out. I hope you look like a tomato working out on the verge of, you know, because you had a great workout. When you go home to shower, at that point in the shower, use the cleanser. And you can wash your face in the shower with the cleanser. And then once you're out of the shower, do your nighttime skincare routine. Um, Okay, Fabiola, <laughs> we got it. Okay. Is there anything similar in Europe? Honestly, this is, not because I made it, the best cleanser I've ever tried. 
I've tried a lot of cleansers. It is the best cleanser I've ever tried. Um, I've got several milia for seven, seven years. I don't know where to start. You have to go see a professional. If you have milia on your face for seven years, you need to see a professional to remove it, okay? Um, UK. I have spot-prone skin from aging. Where are you best to start with? The major fade is the line that you want to start with if you have. What's wrong? Tell us how to use it in the routine. Can I? Oh, you brought me the product? Yeah. Oh, look at Tiffany. She already, I didn't even notice because I was so into the conversation. Okay, guys, shall we do the lineup of a routine? Get your pens and papers and start writing. Do you have your pens and papers? I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds before I jump in. Shall I count down? 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Are you guys getting your pens and papers? 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, run, 10, 9, 8. Move your butt and get, find the pen. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Okay. You guys know I like to start with a nighttime routine. This is what we're going to do. We're going to walk through a nighttime routine. I cannot do it now because I have a patient in 10 minutes. Is it 12? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We get home. We do not sit on the couch. You do not think of turning on the TV. You do not even call your mom or your dad or your significant other. You go to the bathroom and you get this baby. Okay, you squeeze it, you love it, you kiss it, you put it in the palm of your hand. Step one is cleanse with the soft wash. This is step one. And the way that we cleanse is we put it in the palm of our hands, we warm it up with water, we apply it to dry skin, all right? Is there an ad? I don't know what that means, I'm on a live. But this is not, I don't know what that person wrote. But you apply it to dry skin and then you take your wet washcloth you work it throughout your face. You open your eyes. You're finally free to wash your face and open your eyes and see the world. Oh, we should do an Aladdin. I can show you the world. Just thought of that now. Um, so yeah, definitely working on that. Tiffany, you write that down. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then we go in, pat, 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 pat. Our face is dry. Okay. Our face is dry. We are free birds. We're not sitting on the couch. Our face is clean. It might be 6 p.m. outside. It might be 5 p.m. We're not going out tonight, okay? We're hanging out together. You're probably going to catch me on a live. And we are chilling. Tiffany is, <laughs> Tiffany is behind, okay? After you have taken your face off, what are we going to do? At that point, we exfoliate because we want to exfoliate at night. I much prefer exfoliating at night than in the morning because you're getting rid of the day. You're taking off the crud. You're helping your skin turn itself over and you're allowing your skin that time to breathe without any makeup, without any pollution, without any stress, without anything, okay? We use the flash mask. I'm going through my whole products. I'm showing you guys the whole lineup of the Dr. Idris babies. She's your party girl. This is your main stream serious human, okay? She's pretty, but she's serious. She doesn't like to joke around. Flash mask is not a joker. We tried, didn't work, but we still get along. So this is your exfoliating mask. It has 15% glycolic acid, it has lactic acid, and it also has tranexamic acid. The reason why it comes in a mask is multifactorial. I wanted you guys to control where and how long you are exfoliating for. I don't want you guys to be putting some wet toner all over your face, getting it into your eyes, dripping on your PJs. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. So I wanted you guys to control where you apply it and for how long you apply it so you can wash it off. Leave it on for like three, four minutes if you're sensitive, up to 30 minutes if you're not. The OG real nerds know you can sleep with it overnight if you need to sleep with it, okay? But if you're sensitive or have rosacea or broken skin barrier, please do not do that. You can also use it as a spot treatment if you're breaking out. Boop, boop. You can put it on your little pimples, allowing it to sit overnight, overnight for the breakouts, not necessarily for your whole face. But we exfoliate a step two, probably, hmm, two times a week in summer, 
four times a week in winter. When it's drier, I do exfoliate more. Um, when it's very humid, I might exfoliate less. Okay. Runny toners drive me nuts. I fucking hate them. <laughs> okay. Hate them. Unless they have like a better dispense mechanism, but that's a story for another day. So this is a mask for us to really control where and when and how we're using it. After we exfoliate, we use the serum. If we have a lot of brown spots, we use the hyper serum, major fade hyper serum, okay? Four clicks, boop, 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 all over your face. You can also use it to spot on the back of your hands, your chest, you name it. But this is what you use after you exfoliate, if you have brown spots. If you have redness, you use the hyper, this one, what is this? Oh yeah, the mother puffer, the deep puffer, <laughs> you use him. And this one is a serum with a roller to just allow you to kind of manipulate any sort of superficial inflammation that you may have because of the, the roller. But the serum is going to reduce not only swelling, but also redness. So depending on what your problem is, do we have sunspots? Do we have redness? Do we have both? Oh, we have both. So you can use both. I would probably use this one first, followed by this one. So now you guys are getting the lineup. We have our, what's it called? Soft wash over here. We have our flash mask over here. We have our, you can't see it, deep puffer over here and our hyper serum over here. This, you're never gonna see them, so I'm just gonna hold them like this, okay? This is sort of the lineup. And after the serum, you can add your retinol, which I do not have here. So just for argument's sake, we're going to call this one your retinol, okay, because she's neutral. So we're going to add the retinol in this order. So wash, exfoliation, redness serum, brown serum, decide which one you want, and retinol if you are playing the retinol game. And then to top it off, to seal the deal, we use the Active Seal. It is a vitamin C moisturizer that you can use at night with a retinol and in the morning without a retinol. So this is the last one that you want to use, okay? And that is how you use the routine. In the morning, you skip her. If you're not oily, if you're not in a humid environment, if you're not somebody who is acne prone, you skip this in the morning and you use psh, water, okay? Regular water, okay? This is what you do. Hold on, Lizzie May, we will talk about retinol and mask. I'm just showing you the whole order. We'll talk about the frequency in a second. Um, but this is skipped in the morning. This is definitely skipped in the morning, we don't use. So how do we start after using the water on our face? Decide, redness or brown spots for your serum, your moisturizer with vitamin C because you want the vitamin C underneath your sunscreen. And because I don't have a sunscreen here, for argument's sake, she's a sunscreen too. Okay, so then you use the sunscreen after. And that is your morning routine. Extremely simple, all right? Now, in terms of frequency, can you use this with a retinol? The answer is if you're a veteran and you know your skin and you know the type and the percent of the retinol that you're using does not irritate your skin, you could. You absolutely could. Do I recommend this for everybody? Absolutely not, because most people will not tolerate the combination of an exfoliating mask at 15% glycolic acid with a retinol. So therefore, if you are using this two times a week, use the retinol on the opposite nights in the sequence that I told you, but you delete this step. So did you guys write that down? Because that was a damn good explanation. That was a really good explanation, actually. I wish I had recorded it. Um, all right. The face wash will not aggravate conditions like eczema. It is sensitive, skin approved, and safe. Um, now go buy it. Now go buy it. Go buy it. <laughs> Bobby, I think, has retired for life. Thanks to all of you. Shireen has not. <laughs> we are in two very different boats. If you know who Bobby is, you know who Bobby is. So you can head on over to dridris.com to purchase your newest main squeeze, your soft wash. Okay, your soft wash. This is where it's at, my friends. And I've been using it for like a year now, if not longer, I would say, because this packaging was disastrous, <laughs> a real disaster. Um, all right, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys maybe on a live. I don't want to overpromise. Maybe tonight. I have a dinner tonight and I still have to record a YouTube video, so I don't know about that. But um, I will see you guys very sure.
We forgot to mention where. No, I said wear the damn sunscreen. That was my last step. She became a sunscreen. I didn't forget the sunscreen. All right. God bless, guys. Um, I love you. Pillow Talk Durham loves you. You guys are the OG nerds for joining me on a Tuesday because you hate Tuesdays. And we like to hate Tuesdays together. But not today because she's here. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.